What's up YouTube, Brian here. It's time for a around the world update. Just got done doing a bunch of maintenance on tanks and now it's time to feed. This is the female guppy tank. As you can see, the fry are coming along nicely. The two ladies still have the same tail damage from before, right there and right there. It doesn't seem to be getting worse, it also doesn't seem to be healing. Golden yellow snail is getting some algae on his shell, but he's getting humongous. It's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but he just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Uh, yeah. So let's give him some food. You can watch them swarm. Let's I actually don't have that much memory left on my uh, camera right now, so we're going to move on. There's the males. Some of the males are starting to look pretty cool. They've got red coming in. The mosaics do on the bottom half of their tails. The caudal fin. I don't know. Like, there's one. Some of the others are getting it, too. some food. One of the adult, um, the adult yellow tuxedos also has a notch in his tail. It's not really healing. I think that one right there. It's also not getting worse, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so there's the guppies. Got some cool algae growing in here. I'm down with that. It's like getting, like, there's like a little algae bush right here. And then there's some over here growing on the uh, airline. So that's cool. Alright, we're gonna go upstairs now. Alright, let's take a look at the 12 gallon next. Um, what's going on in here? I've got pond snails breeding in here, not really on purpose, but I'm letting it go, because why not? Uh, the two rams are in here. There's my killifish and uh, forktail blue eye rainbow fish swimming together. I got two more of the forktail blue eyes, so now there's six and six. The rams are back there, it looks like. There's one of them at least. Getting pretty fat. The other one's probably in the house, yeah. It's like his little territory. There he goes. They got some nice extensions on their dorsal fins. They're really thin, I don't know if you can see them on camera, but... Uh, the two mystery snails in here are still doing good. Uh-oh, baby's about to invade the camera angle. There's one up there in the corner. There's the other one up in the other corner. They're getting pretty big. So let's give these guys some brown shrimp. Sorry, I'm the camera's all over the place. Pull up. Alright, let's watch them eat a little bit. Baby, don't hit the fish tank. With your toy, you're gonna scare all the fish. They don't seem very hungry right now. I don't know what's up with that. Normally they go pretty pretty crazy. I'm gonna put food in there. Whatever, that's what all the snails are for. If a bunch of it sinks down to the bottom, the snails will eat it. 
Considering moving these guys into the 45, the uh, killifish and the rainbow fish. Speaking of the 45, let's move over to there. Uh, I've only got the low light on right now because I don't. I'm still having algae problems in this tank. Okay, the baby wants to pass by. <clears throat> There's the remaining uh, purple glow light resboras that didn't get eaten by the flag cichlid. Oh, there's the shrimp. He's going crazy right now. There's the ram. <clears throat> I moved all the cardinal tetras in here because I was I had to move the flag cichlid into the 65 gallon because he was eating everything that was smaller than him. And I was worried that if I moved him in there with the cardinals, he would just eat all the cardinals. There's the emperors. I did lose an emperor yesterday. I don't know why. I went to my company holiday party, and when I came home, it was dead. Uh, Pearl Go Rami's up there. Sorry, my camera's wobbling. I have a toddler climbing on me. Um, yeah, so I'm also planning on uh, moving the... Sorry, guys. Planning on moving the RAM and the Emperor Tetra is probably into the, the big tank and then moving the Congo Tetras into this tank because I feel like A, then everything in the big tank will be South American B, the Congo Tetras will look better in this tank under the bright light when I have that on which is not right now, but the Cardinals look really sweet, look at them glowing oh no don't touch the screen while daddy's filming. So, yep, they're doing pretty good. Catching, catching Stripey and moving him was the most difficult uh, catch and move of any fish I've had to do so far. He was not having it and he was going insane, slamming into everything in the tank, knocking over decorations. He ended up wedging his entire body somehow down into this crack I thought he like killed himself but he was just like he just like dug a hole to hide in I had to go in there and take out a bunch of stuff and I finally got him and he was just like not happy at all but he's in the 65 gallon now I'll go see him in the discus and stuff in a second okay yeah we're gonna go right now because I'm about to run out of memory Alright, last 20 odd seconds of memory that I have, you can watch the discus eat. I rearranged the wood a bit in here. The flag cichlid's in the back hiding because he's still freaked out by his move. But I bet he's going to come out for food because he loves food. Maybe not, we'll see.